Hello there guys, Billabo10000 here, bringing you episode 2 of Hollow Knight, and now the map shop is open. Hello there. <sighs> Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with. But what a surprise, he's headed down below. Iselda. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I've not much interest in retail myself. Now let's see what's here for me to sell. Wayward Compass. Highly recommend if you're having trouble finding your way in the maze of ruins below us, try this charm. It will pinpoint your location on your map. Incredibly helpful. Uh, if you want to update your map with new areas, you'll need this quill. Uh, I guess I'll buy it. I'll buy the quill. Uh, yes, please. Item purchased. And everything else is slightly too expensive for me, so can't really buy anything else. Alright, I'm just going to quickly turn down my sound, because it is very loud. Uh, I'm going to need to alt-tab out of the game to do that, so when I unpause, we'll continue. Alright, much better. Continue. Alright, let's go. Let's head back down into the ruins. And head into the darkness down below. So I want to head back down to where we saw... The cartographer, because I'm pretty sure that's sort of like the location we want to be at. So I want to fall completely down this area. I just want to get to the bottom. Alright. And the cartographer was down here. He's still here, which is good. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Cornifer, and I've always loved exploring the world. Why, when I first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. That's why, as soon as I could, I moved to Dirtmouth with my wife. A huge, unending kingdom to explore right on our doorstep. Who could resist? Anyway, I'll let you return to your travels. With a little luck, we'll meet again. Be safe and farewell. Alright, I'll see you later, man. Alright, let's see. So this is our area we're in now. It doesn't seem like there's a way across here. There's a pathway that goes down. There's no pathway to the left, so we're just going straight down. I'm gonna go down to the right, it seems a bit more safe. Yep, overall that was a good life decision. Good job, Billy. Brilliant life decision right there. Almost died, but you know, we didn't. Oh, it's one of the jumpy ones. There we go, yes. Whoa, what are you? I'm guessing these are just sort of enemies that we have to avoid. They're like stage hazards. Oh, that is so cool. The designs in this game are just so freaking beautiful. Holy crap. Whoa. Oh god, it shoots babies. No, I don't need this. I do need healing though. Boop. There we go. Oh, it's one of you. There you go. Goodbye. All right, so that was pretty much this entire detour in a nutshell. Good thing. I like saving those guys. They're really nice and really, really cute. Like, if there's anything I can safely say about this game is that the enemies you have to save are cute as all hell. Ah, so close. I can't make it up there. I guess we're heading to the right then? Down into the right, hopefully, and maybe we'll actually discover another location. I'd like to hope so, because I haven't really had any luck anywhere else. I wonder if maybe those charms inside the... inside the shop will teach me, like, new powers, maybe. I never really thought about that, but that's a possibility. It certainly wants to give me more money, so... Whoa! Oh no. I didn't mean for that. Okay, so we're against this guy. This little sort of mini-boss. There we go. Anything else? Oh god, two of them. Alright, three hits is more than enough to kill them. There we go, three more. Any more? Okay, we're fine. Let me just go back and collect the money that I missed up here. There was the one money rock. Ooh, we found a secret area. Oh, what? Had I known that existed, I would have gone this way. 
I wonder if that means there are a bunch of secret areas back where I've been to already. That's interesting to think about. Alright, some normal enemies around here. Some more of these guys. Nothing too particularly dangerous, just a bunch of enemies that I think we're pretty much used to. Oh, careful. Careful. Alright, that guy's down. What's this way? Huh. It seems I can't really see where I am on here. That's a problem. I wonder if uh, there's a way that I have to upgrade my map. I wonder if, like, there's a place I have to be. Maybe, like, one of those benches, like the one that was in Dirtmouth. Potentially, that could just be it. I could just need to find a bench. There we go. No secrets around here. Boop. Let's just keep moving. I want to explore. I, like, this game. Oh, my God. It is beautiful. I just want to explore everything. Alright, we're down here now. Gotta be very careful. And jump! And I think we're okay. I don't think we can get up any further until we have, like, power, so... Let's head up this way. Let's see where this goes. I'm curious. Is this gonna somehow just wrap around to a place we've been to before? That'd be cool. Oh. Oh, there's a bench. Aha! Let us rest. Map updated, yeah. Okay, so resting updates our map. And that means that we are probably... We're somewhere. I have no idea where we are, but we're definitely somewhere. We can't really go anywhere from here. A tall machine with the symbol of a stag. Insert Geo? No. Actually, you know what? No, let's do it. Let's see what happens. I'll insert Geo. I don't know what it'll do, but let's see what happens. Whoa! Ring the bell. Ring my bell. Hello? Oh, that was beautifully done. Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of a station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch to the depths of Hollow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I'll take you wherever you need to go. So we can actually go back to Dirtmouth. Okay. Let's head back to Dirtmouth. Yeah, let's go back there. I'm curious as to where it's actually going to take me out at Dirtmouth then. Alright, I'm going to leave this guy here. I assume this means that we've, we've unlocked this guy permanently, which is cool. I have no idea where this is going to take me. <gasps> no! No! Oh, I thought we were going to turn out somewhere else. Instead, we just turned out here. Okay, that's cool. We've got a quick way back to Dirtmouth. I'm going to go back in here and check if there's anything I can buy for those charms. Hey. <sighs> Barpanava. Barpanava. This pips will mark benches and others that rest on your map. Have you seen those beautiful blue cocoons? I made these pips so you can track them. Uh, every so often, you should pass by the shopkeepers. These pins will mark any stagways. I designed these pins to keep track of the kingdom's hot springs. Uh, I'm gonna use... I'm gonna buy the bench one. Benches, I feel, are very important. Oh, I'd love that. For... I, I'd like the pinpoint my own location, but I, I think I could live without having my own location pinpointed for a little while. Alright, let's head back down the stagway. God, this game is so beautiful. Oh my god. Come on, down the stagway we go. Yep, we're near the surface. There's a town. Take the opportunity to rest. It's much quieter now. Yes. Eager to travel? Hop on that platform. Ah. To the Forgotten Crossroads. Let us go. Alright. Thank you very much, my friend. Let's see where we are on the map then. Okay, that's cool, actually. That means we're in a good position. We're actually quite close to stuff that we've already been to before. If we just keep going upwards, we should reach an area that I've been to. 
Who would have guessed that we were so close to the crossroads? At least where we came in. Yes! I think I know where we are. I think I know exactly where we are. If we go higher... Wait. Oh, I heard one of those little cocoon guys, I think. Oh, no, I think one of them is trapped. Oh, I feel bad whenever they're trapped because it makes me want to cry because they, they sound so sad and lonely. Yes! I know exactly where we are. And now we've unlocked a shortcut. Oh, my God. That's so cool. Whoa. Uh-oh. No. I don't think going through there yet is a good idea. We definitely need a light if we're going to go through there. You'd, like, need to know the accuracy of that level to, like, a pinpointed degree if you wanted to actually survive that. Let's head this way. Oh, no. What? Oh, my God. This enemy... Just knocked me right down. Okay. This is a new enemy type. I don't know how to deal with this guy. Come on. There we go. Got to attack him when he hits. And it sort of stuns him for a second, which gives you time to run away. Pretty useful, actually. Oh no, one of you. Uh oh, two of you. Oh no! I'm taking damage and I don't want to be taking damage. Oh no. Oh no! I could die. Oh no, there's three of them. Oh god. This is really bad. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Run! Oh no. Oh no. I came into an area that I did not want to end up in. I think I've gone the wrong- at least- Damn, this game is punishing. It's good, obviously, but god damn. The punishment is so severe. Oh boy. Alright, that's one guy down. Let's see if we can get healing. There we go. One small touch of healing. And we got a nice bit of soul refuel so we can heal ourselves up another time. Pretty useful, I must say. I feel like we're slowly making our way back to an area that we may have been to before. Alright, so four hits kills them, but then they spawn other enemies. Okay. That's good to know. Hopefully we'll find another bench as well. That would be really useful. I'd quite like to find another bench, just so I have a safe spot, really. Oh. One more. There we go. I just want to make sure I'm definitely not missing anything up here. Like, there's not, like, a secret area. Okay, aha. Oh, this goes back here. Okay, we've gone around in a nice little circle then. That's good. We want to head this way then. Okay, so we definitely- I, I know where we are. We went- we went in a massive circle, so. God, this feels so... Crazy, really. Whoa, what are you? For whatever reason, I can't actually get in there. Is this something that I can't do yet? I, I guess it's a dead end. That's the thing with this game so far, is that there are a lot of dead ends, and you can't really do much until you know and have, like, the ability to keep moving. So it's all about finding your way through these areas and figuring out where the dead ends are. And this is a game where I think exploration is so well encouraged that it's just 100% enjoyable because of it. I want to explore this entire area and find all of these little intricate little hidden areas that happen to be around. I really want to, because this is a game that works like that, and it works so well. For what it is, at least. Alright, that's the save area. Let's just update our map again. Alright. Oh, there's another bench down there. I must have missed it. Okay. Down on the lower level. 
and then to the right. Okay. Let's go then. Getting to that bench should be pretty- Oh, and when we sit on benches, it also respawns all the enemies in the area. Okay, so they don't stay dead, which is good. But at the same time, they are still a pretty big threat, which is also cool. I quite like that. That's just a really good way of handling things. Like, wow. Hello. Oh no, it's a boss. I didn't realize. Ah! What the f- This boss, holy fuck. Okay, move. This is so much fun, holy crap. This is a really cool boss, holy crap. This is so amazing. I'm glad that we've actually hit our first boss though, that's also cool. There we go! I believe that's our first boss down. Yes! Do I get an achievement? I feel like I should get an achievement. I feel like that's a thing. Oh no! Okay, it's not over yet then. That's what it was trying to tell me. Alright, just keep attacking. We'll get there. Alright. Oh, it's like a little cradle. A cradle of death. Oh, wow. That was intense. Okay. That was awesome. That, that was really cool. I really like that. Where's the bench? Ah! No, I don't want to fight you. I want to find the bench. Oh, we can enter here. Okay. Hi! Oh. Ugh! Otto, you oaf! You wield your nail like a club! Esme, how much deeper do we have to go? Oh, oh what? Who are you? I see. This old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. I'm sly. Usually I live an uneventful life in Dirtmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. I don't trust him. I don't know. Just something about the fact that his name is called Sly, and that is a name you literally should not trust with your life. Uh, I'm just feeling a little bit precarious and precautious. Okay, yeah, we need to keep moving a little bit further along. We should get to the bench. It's further down this way. Whoa, no. I can't actually make my way to the top of there. I must... No, I can't make it up there. Okay, so we've hit a dead end, actually. Maybe finding Sly was sort of like what I needed to do in order to keep moving. Because once I fell down here, I guess it, it assumed you wouldn't be able to get back unless you opened up that little pathway there, so... I guess we have to just go back and talk to Sly. Alright, well, we can actually go and do that, and we can also end the episode off while we do that. So, let's head on back to Sly. There's also that little area with the little... With the little horn guy in the, the map that's slightly less coloured in that I want to check out as well. First things first, though, let's kill this guy. Which way do I want to go? I want to go... Upwards. Upwards and up. Up and up. On the up and up. That's what I am. Keep moving. Up we go. I like to kill this guy as well, potentially. I just want a little bit more in terms of gold. Or whatever whatever the currency is. I don't remember what they called it. Up we go. Whee! And through here. Hey, I'm back. Let me just quickly update my map quickly. Alright, let me just do that again. Boop. Alright, so there is a pathway I could have gone for- Oh no, that's the, the elevator, right? Uh, remember the highways and crossroads? Those travelers are long gone, yet I still remain. Aww. Poor guy. I hope he's alright. I hope he sticks around and he doesn't, like, die or something. Because if this goes in the way of Dark Souls in terms of NPCs, all of them are going to end up dead. And I don't want that. 
Alright, let's go see if we can find Sly. Hello. Ah. Oh, what a turn. Our shopkeeper's come home. Just wandered back in. I'd hoped for grand tales of his time below, but he seems to almost remember nothing. Maybe it was all too much for him? If you're interested in his wares, watch out. He drives a hard bargain, that one. No competition. That's the problem. It's bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. <laughs> Let's talk to Sly, then. I'm sure he's a shopkeeper, then, so... Ah, hello. I knew we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here, selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. If you're planning a trip below, I have several items that may improve your chance of survival. Patamatayo. Mask shard, vessel fragment, simple key. Hmm. Notch, uh, gathering swarm. Do you like, uh, find yourself leaving a lot of goo? Uh, life in Alifest can be tough. This charm uh, grants you more time to recover. Bright companion for a Luma fly. Ooh, this is this. This seems like one of those things that would be important. Rancid egg. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll leave that. Uh, I guess I'll take the mask shard. I don't really know what it does, but it's part of uh, an achievement, so I'd quite like it. Alright, that seems important. Okay, well, after that episode, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying this series so far, continue... Uh, uh, oh no, if, you, if you're enjoying the series so far, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you're watching on Vidme, upvote, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And in the next episode, we'll see if we can continue and find some more stuff. So, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, guys.